hello, hello. There we go. Oh my god, I'm not signed into my own channel? What the fuck? Hi. That was weird. It signed me in and it signed me right back out. Can you all hear me? Hey, Furry Amethyst. That was irritating. I finally put the stream bot on my laptop. I got tired of not having commands when I stream from the Switch. And everything logged me out. <sighs> Do I have potions? Oh, we should go back home. I should have done that before logging out. Good job, me. Yeah, I updated Streamlabs bot on my laptop and then decided I'm going to log you out of everything. That was my day yesterday, Furwick. Took him for a walk, did you? You could say that. I want to turn on the AC, but we have a severe thunderstorm warning. I'll teach me for treating you like you're still a pup. All right, all right, no need to shout. Now I know what you're after, I can see about getting some in. Speaking of which, I brought one for later. Can I leave it with you? Wow, is this dog just eating bones and no meat, or...? Wow. You can thank Tom's for bloody know it all. It's just about to see Hello. I wanna put the AC on, but ow. Sorry. You know how you scratch yourself and don't realize that you scratched kind of hard? <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah, apparently I had a scratch on my leg and I kept... Ever since. Very good. Lady Carrie, by the way, the mystery. Oh, my God, everyone. One which raised certain questions in my mind. You see, the founder of legend served Shiva and Shiva alone. And while the powers attributed to him are certainly impressive, the records imply they are somewhat different in nature to those you described Torbo as having used. What are you suggesting? That Torgal may be the beneficiary of more than one icon's power. What? have fallen to your sword. One can but speculate as to how all of this has affected Torgal. Oh. I'm sorry, but you chopped someone's head off and put them in a box. We are fortunate indeed to be able to count him amongst our allies and not our adversaries. <laughs> oh. He's more than an ally. He's a friend. Why did I? Oh, I already turned in the ashes. All right. Oh, does he have a? Oh, I think he just has more lore. I do need to buy things from Karen. Oh, good boy. I can't pet you right now for some reason. Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. Let's stock up. Eh, I'm not too worried about Gil. I have so much of this. It's by 10. It'd better all be here. You'll not find a better price than that. Hey, Jermaine. That's fine. I hit a wall, so... I finally have more potion slots. It'd better all be here. Game, let me have elixirs. You can have the diamond sword plus one. You got else? Oh, 
and be thankful you got that much. Wow. I oh. I reckon I can find a buyer. I don't want to sell any of those. Come again. Oh, don't. Hey, bottle. Uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about, David. Hey, Meridu. That's an odd question to come in and say. Not sure what you're talking about. But I intend to try to finish the game today, Jermaine, so I'm going to be here for a while. Fine about us, guys. Unless that is. What do you want? Wow. I sold my. No, I have a diamond sword plus one. I. Son of a biscuit. No worries. I, I don't understand uh, David Bunch of Numbers. Do you mean the wrestlers that do you mean the wrestling group because I need more than just a random did you meet these people especially when it's nothing to do no I have not met any of them I've I do know um, Austin though I have not made it to a professional wrestling match, so I have not met them. What was I doing? I have everything I need. Nope, I have not met New Day. Oh, Jermaine, I, so I felt a way about this game, Jermaine, because the lack of people of color. Um, so I was iffy on it, and then I was like, oh, wait, the game is all about slavery. I'm glad there's no people of color in it. And you can see every influence of Game of Thrones in this. There's so much, it's very dark compared to other Final Fantasies, but you can also clearly see the influence of the 14 team members that worked on it in a lot of the quest stuff. They're headed for the rest. We have to slow them down. Marfa and the others won't be ready. So, I just wanted to leave town. Y'all let. Uh, okay, then I'm not sure why you're asking if I've ever met them. Oh no, a chocobo! I don't like to give numeric scores, but probably a 8 out of 10. There's a lot of narrative dissonance that bothers me as a developer. Oh good, the chocobos all ran up here. Oh yes, fair, I love that move. What the fuck? Something's coming. Hey Thousand Young. I'm okay, um it looks like the end of days out there. Um, because we apparently are expecting thunderstorms in my neighborhood, or in my area. Uh, there's a lot of narrative dissonance that, uh, Murr pointed out when she was here. And Murr has been a developer previously, so, uh, and one of my coworkers brought it up as well. Oh. 
Where is everybody? Jill, you should stay out of the way. I hate this thing. Uh oh, blessings. Now that I'm not fighting, one second. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I pulled up the Final Fantasy store or the Square store yesterday, intending to order this. No. I but I don't know if I want to spend that much on vinyl. I've got a. Then we make for well we I bought a USB record player. I just don't know where to put it. Oh yeah, I didn't realize you were in Toronto, a thousand young. I don't know why. How's everyone doing? <laughs> well, wherever they came from, they're gone now. Our lookouts say the lowlands are clear. Hopefully we'll have enough time to lick our wounds. How many of your men were injured? Well, sight less than if you hadn't turned up. Thank you. It was a hard fought victory. What are you going to do for five days without it? And I'm not trying to be funny. I mean, my PC is usually the very last thing I'll break down whenever I move. Ah. Uh, if it wasn't going to be pouring, I'm, I, was, I was tempted to be at Micro Center when they open and ask them how long it would take to put in a new power supply. Oh, wow. Uh, mods, I dropped a question in our mod chat for you. Oh, speaking of which, how's your... Oh, okay. I will look in a second. Uh, speaking of which, DC, how's the new rig? I am excited. Hey, man. Ooh, Guardian Scarf. What is that? Enjoy, DC. It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Lord. How goes, man? Oscar of House Murdoch. Murdoch. 
I wasn't aware the Lord Commander had children. Oh, he didn't. But my brother, my father did. I am Sir Rodney's nephew. <clears throat> well, go on then. It's not for me to ask him. Yes. Nice. If it please you, my lord Marcus, might you take me as your squire? I would learn the duties of a shield from the finest. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Oscar, but I'm a shield no longer. Nor was I ever the finest. And spending time in the company of an outlaw hardly seems a fitting education for one aspiring to take his oaths. I priced out a new machine this morning. And even without a GPU, it still was $3,000, and I just wanted to cry. Accomplished much since taking on the mantle of Sid, winning no little honor in so doing. And I would sooner serve under an honor... And I didn't put pricey components in it. No, no, not that so Wade and the other Guardians are... I mean to say that, uh, the, It's all right. But I can't really have that much downtime. Really be so bad? You will squire this. And I'm certain Sir Rodney would approve. That means that boy's gonna die. Know that I'll show you as much leniency as your uncle showed me. I would not have it any other way. No, uh, no, not, not a faulty water block, right, right, fair, like, he's not gonna make it very far, I feel bad, he ain't gonna make it too far, what mission is still there, it is going to bother me, let's go look. Slovenia. Damn. No, I was looking at Micro Center because if I order, if I order at least four hours before closing, supposedly, they can do same day. Oh, it's my quarters. Okay. That's Tomes. This is my quarters. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I guess I don't know my quarters from the library. Good job, me. Sorry. An unanswered check mark on here is going to bother me so much. True, but I thought I knew the difference, but apparently I don't. I keep going to the wrong door when I mean to go to see Tomes. This tippet died red for the flames of the firebird and the blood of his fallen Rosarian brothers. To Sir Wade pledge not only his loyalty, but the loyalty of the guardians of the flame. Game, why are you fucking trying to make me cry? Why? You have an uncanny talent of showing up where you're most needed, my lord. Without your steel, I fear the rest would be in the hands of the Akashic, and us but more their nameless numbers. However, with the horde now both thinned and fractured, we guardians can focus on our can focus our efforts on putting down the smaller packs without the worry of being overwhelmed. While Martha's blood axes can return to defending the, the tour. As for young Oscar, you will forgive my sin request for taking him under your wing. He is a good man, attentive, polite, hardworking. So as you can see, he has already learned everything he can from me. He would do well to continue scarring under more worthy shield. And the realm is none more worthy than you. Signed, Wade.
The Guardians are getting along with the axe is fine enough, working to show up the rest's walls when not clearing out a few threats remain down in the reeds. Though chances are we'd still be rock deep or neck deep in Akashic had you not given that horde your firm but gentle nudge. I know you're, you've a realm to save and all, but if you ever need a quick reviver, come see us and we'll tap you up a cask. Dramatis Personae. Probably a letter from Uncle Byron. No. The Garden League have put aside their, their differences for the time being. Allowing us leave all leave to sip our snake's spit in relative leisure. For that I would hazard we have your better half to thank. Oh, they're just assuming. She put on quite a performance, as for yours well, from one aspiring thespian to another. Might I suggest working on your delivery and your projection and those stiff limbs of yours and your countenance and well everything else. We wouldn't want to do the name under Hill at a service, now would we? Oh, I'm sorry that you had to leave one that you had to leave your machine behind. Trouble with the latches. <sighs> oh y'all. Oh my god. Sorry, I turned my head. It looks like nighttime outside. <laughs> It is pitch black, so if the stream goes down suddenly, it's because the storm here. <laughs> oh no, it's... It's bad. Like, I'm surprised you don't hear thunder. I should have gone the other way. This is the very long way to go there. Why did I go this way? Yeah, yeah, we're all gonna die because you keep whining about it. I would throw her ass in the sea. I like keep saying that and panicking people. I'm gonna throw your ass in the ocean. I couldn't be Clive because the minute somebody got on my nerves, like, do you see all that water? We're putting you out in the water. Not on a boat, I'm throwing you in the water. That's why I'm here. Oh, so you have the same storm front then. I hope it's not as bad for you, DC, because you're lower level than I am. You're ground floor, yeah. Bad news. It turns out Oh my god. Slightly behind I need AVG to not try to run right now. My fault. But I swear to the goddess, I thought I had the numbers square. Sadly, that square turned out to be more of a circle. Zero, you would say. I swear, but it's going to take some time. And I'm going to need help keeping it from Otto. <laughs> so let me get this straight. You forget to pay our lenders what they're due, and instead of coming straight to me, you get Clive to come to you. <laughs> Clive, the man in charge of the place you've been chiefly trying to bank for. And you thought this was a kind of... Did you all hear that? Oh, just Martha. And the dam. But only We are three of our most trusted friends. What? Each. They lent us the bulk of the money we used to do all the hard way, see. We owe 15 million, Gil. My heart jumped, and this isn't even real money. Do we have that much to hand? I can always ask my uncle. We don't. Uh. 
besides, we'll need to learn to stand in the <laughs> 15 million kill? Jesus. There might be. How do you fancy taking me to Mars? Rocks. Rocks, he says. Worth a thousand talents of peace, these are. A little something Sid and I set aside for. Are they diamonds? Probably qualifies. I just hope our associates' eyes are a bit more discerning than yours. I'm sure they will be. I'm basically taking them diamonds to pay off. Oh my Jesus! to bark, asses to wipe, and all that. I know. Which is why I don't like going in the place. Go. Do you know why? Two star rubies. Because. You'd rather Lady Karen killed me. Because I'd rather Lady Karen kill you. Yes. What? Well, <sighs> I suppose this is goodbye then. Don't worry. I'm sure Karen will understand. Really? Yes. No, I don't. I So we're just not giving Karen anything. I I choked when he said 5 million gil. Also, why is there a lock on this? I don't guess anyone in the chat is also playing this. What? What do you mean currently restricted? The fuck? Miscues? I'm confused. Oh, all right then. I I guess I'm going to the other mission. You never played any Final Fantasy? Really? Scheiße. It sounds like the end of days out there. Yeah, I'm glad I, I got food and stuff laid in, because I would feel real bad ordering anything today. Yes, fair. That was thunder. I'm like a few feet from my desk, from the outside. And, uh, yeah. I'm my desk. I'm, uh, I'm in the living room. Uh, there's no one in chat who's actually been in... Well, no, DC's been in my apartment. So he knows just how far away I am from... from, uh, the window. Eh, I don't think so. The Lord. The Lady. We received the death message. There have been sightings of strange creatures, I understand. With the blue eyes. <laughs> like a Kashyyyk, but different. They've taken so many. I've lost count. 
Her, this color palette on her is bothering me. I know that's a weird minor thing to focus on. But this red, green, and tan is absolutely bothering me. No, don't go to Gamer Jail. I played some Zelda games. Um, as a kid. But I also don't, I don't have the nostalgia for Zelda that a lot of people do. And it's not a bad thing. It's just, I didn't get attached to it, I guess. I also just think some days that my emotions are broken. That I don't have empathy like normal people, or other people, I should say. Half the garrison's been slaughtered by those things. We lost the captain this very morning. Reinforcements, but there's been no work the capital of the in days. What more would you have us do? I would have you do your duty. Those at the Vale look to me for protection and protect them. I shall. Well, I grew up poor, so there was a lot of we just didn't have those things. In case you have forgotten, the people of this town are your charges, but more than that, sort of your sisters, your brothers, your lovers. So you have a choice. Lay down your sword and watch as they are slaughtered. Or take it up and do what is right. <laughs> there are days I just wonder if I, I don't feel emotions the way other people do. Not if we don't have to. Look, there's a cask under the captain's bunk. Let's talk about this over a drink, eh? I'm listening. Oh, good news about Scotty. Ah, oh, Clive. I didn't expect him to arrive so quickly. And... It was a... Thank Ellen. What we need to consider is where the creatures came from. The way the survivors speak of them. I mean, it speaks to me. I'm a fan, but I'm like I'm not as big of a fan as like Zero or Kelly or Eugenio, if that makes sense. Oh, uh, also mods, keep an eye out because Malevent was bopping a lot of bots the other day. Like the last two evening streams, there have been a lot of bots, and I'm not sure why. You're a pikeman, yes? I don't think so. If you can drop a note in there, there's no botting that I see, but. But the last couple days, Malvin's been bopping a few. More in the evening, though. I never did get to the village. Leave that to us. Yeah, and I really, if I had the bandwidth, I would absolutely write a longer blog post about the way that people make a game their whole personality and then become unreasonable about it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, la I had to laugh at the fuck this. I like how NPCs are like, nah, fuck this, we out. They went for Joseph first, didn't they? You never hear NPCs do that. They're like, deuces, I'm out. Fuck this bullshit. Can I go out that way? Plan. 
Oh, I see there is a way out. I found my way out. Okay, y'all can stop talking about the captain being beheaded. Good lord. Y'all are just like deuces, the captain. Oh, wow. Oh, it looks so different without the mother crystal. Mur, hello. How are you? That's a little too close. Yes, which is why I'm, uh... Do I finally have enough to buy this? What's impulse? Oh, oh boy, this is exciting. I've giga flare. How goes Mer? That's right, belated happy birthday. What did you get into for your birth? Oh, my lights just flickered. So if the stream goes down suddenly, it's because of the storms here. How did I not know? Sorry, Mer. I would have wished you a, a, a happy happy on the day of. Two gil. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, it was a it was just a short flicker, but I am not used to that. Clive, look. I see them with me. Oh, they bunched up. Thank you. Oh, this is beyond what I need. I Save your strength. I wish I knew who was taking commissions. Because I absolutely want a winged Clive commission. Oh no. Oh, it's like that? Cool. Jill, I need you to stay out of the way, please. Oh, cool, we're doing that. Good to know. Help me, boy. Oh, is that what you've been playing, uh, Mer? <laughs> if that doesn't take the lich out.
I don't like you, Lich. Uh, full on art, like full on kind of Clive as fallen angel. Uh, with Sid, Gav, and uh, Sid and Gav on either side of him. And Gav, obviously, for reasons with wings of his own, but more like those are wings wings although I'm not sure that that Gav would uh, get wings necessarily he did pride himself on being an outlaw <sighs> yo almost like a holy trinity picture but also I'm kind of enamored of winged phoenix Clive on his own. <sighs> You're not bad at games, Mur. I mean, if you take a commission and can make me a Clive, I would not say no because I I wouldn't really enjoy painting like a a bust of winged Clive. You're welcome, Zero. Hey, Lily. There will be more. Many more. And we'll need to be ready for them. Oh, we shall. I'm looking around my apartment. If I had to move right now, I would just burn it all. I would just burn all of it. Oh, it is pouring. Himself for the task certainly didn't hurt. <laughs> ah, it's not the most selfless of motives, I'll admit. But whatever it takes, eh? Now me, I never needed convincing. I became a soldier to protect the people I love. <laughs> the people I love. The people who are standing before me. <laughs> Handsome and chivalrous. I'll, and granted, my place is a mess still after the attempt to reset my office. <laughs> really? Foolish enough to believe that this has solved all of my problems, but it has solved one. Mirrors. I mean, I also feel it's because Zero and Catherine are getting ready to move. Not just move, but like to another whole other state. I think if I move states, I really would get mo rid of most of my shit. I would just... The furniture that I couldn't easily replace or that I wouldn't want to spend the money on. But if I moved... Just looking around, if I moved to another state, it'd easily be a five to $10,000 move just because of all the books and shit I have. Let's go and put Otto's mind to rest. I gotta go all the way back home. Oh, I'm sure I purged a lot once I once I moved when I moved in here, and it feels like it just multiplied tenfold. Oh, uh, sure. Let me know the best way to do so, Thousand Young. Because I wasn't sure if you're still on Twitter, because so many people are fleeing Twitter. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so many people are fleeing Twitter. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. <laughs> okay. Is everything we've received and everything promised. Here you are. I have not been using much of my medallions. What do you mean, Jermaine? 
Oh, Twitter. In case people didn't notice, the Bluebird is back on Twitter. It is not the X anymore. Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. The nations are still in chaos. Yeah, it's it's back to uh, the burb. Clive, we knew this was gonna happen. Well, not the bleeding skies part, but you take my point. Now, not the time to second guess yourself. Now's the time to visit the infirmary. Tyre says you've got to work. Thank you, Otto. All right. Olivier, who served as Ultima's mother. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. His father to take the spirit I've got the burb back on my laptop and desktop, or laptop and main machine. I, did, I just refreshed the page and I have the bird back. efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while well in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing the shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep dark. Well, I feel you fair. And for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing. <laughs> what possible use could I be to such a creature? That is one of many answers that I have eluded me. Yet, I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. If they do some manifest destiny, I was bred for this, I'm gonna scream. I'll hear that. Yep. Rain and thunder. Spirit, call it what you wish, but I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. This With every set of sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames bend the person I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. I think it was soft spot for him. Does it mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me? Oh, 
Damn, Joshua. Well, what's the short of it? Tommy told you the capital of the three cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. Jesus. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide, but numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron in mid? Are they able to escape? No. Well, they're all right for now. Hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. Hmm. And we shall. Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian, what's the swiftest route to the free cities? <laughs> that sounds like a question for the map. Look here. This road. Oh this shit, road. I still haven't recorded that thing. For crit. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm. Joshua. You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Were Taya not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to agree. Thanks to administrations. Yeah, because I've forgotten. And I I can make time today when I take a when I take a break. They gave me jelly donuts or jelly. I did order coffee and Dunkin' Donuts early this morning before the storm rolled in, but they don't let you pick your munchkins anymore. Oh my god, how many side clash are here? In this situation, Clive, you can bloody well get me out of it. I need a hand with a recipe. I'm excuse? Right? Well, despite the look of the thing and that awful stench, people wolf it down. So I thought I'd try making one of these supposed masterpieces myself. Had a peek at the book and gave it a go, but, well... It wasn't as straightforward as you'd hoped. Ivan had the same problem. Yeah, but this is my... Oh my god. I'd be like, stuff it, lady. I'm gonna get paid for this. A what now? Speak to Harpocrates. Perhaps he'll know something. And if he does, I'll see if I can find your ingredients for you. You do that. Lest we forget, you've got a reputation to uphold. Well. <clears throat> mm. I am so tired of being everyone's errand boy.
Perhaps you can help me solve a mystery. I can certainly try. Who's gone missing this time? It's not who, but what. Mid scales, the ones she made for her workshop. I borrowed them to teach the little ones about weight, and shortly after the lesson, well, they vanished. My first thought was that they'd taken them off somewhere to play, but when I asked, they swore they had nothing to do with their having disappeared. Which almost certainly means they had everything to do with it. Perhaps a visit from Sid will jog their memories. <laughs> I think it just might. Thank you. I don't like to imagine that my pupils would lie to me. But if they have, I'll have no choice but to discipline them accordingly. They were in the atrium when I last saw them. As always. Hippocrates. He's gonna be like, you never come and talk to me just to ask how I'm doing. One of my Of course he knows what it is. Skyworm is a somewhat antiquated name for the wider. They are ground liver being the paste. So we have to get uh What is the stuff that's made from goose liver? We have to get dragon pate. These people are eating better than I do IRL. Nah, just me getting a bunch of side quests. So I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding them. I may add that people once believed game was best served with the flora that sustained it in life. In which regard, fried mortis of Skyworm is undoubtedly a typical dish of the time. Meaning, <laughs> excuse me. Enjoy as much as you can because it's work. Sorry for the cough. It caught me unaware. It's a dangerous world out there. You'll not find a better price than that. What does Goots need? Breathe, Goots, breathe. Well now. So 
many side quests. Where the hell is Dion? I just realized we came back and I we haven't heard shit about Dion. Sid, out of your studies, I see. And what is that? It's not a set of scales, is it? No. Of course it isn't. Well, not anymore. It's not. Oh. And so long hasn't it been one? We're sorry. But we didn't break them. We just dis dismembered them. Just like Miss Mididol showed us. Miss Mididol? And why would she have you dismembering her creations? Because that's the only way to become an engineer. Oh my god. The best way I see how some it worked is to take it apart and put it back together again. Well then, your work is already half done. Carry on. <laughs> Oh my god, they broke it. The taking your part was easy enough, but it's the putting back we can't work out. Speak for yourself. The heavy thing goes at the bottom. Then. Then. You three need to learn to take responsibility for your actions. So let's have a look at these parts with fresh eyes, shall we? Oh my god, is it a puzzle? Right. Everything here was once part of Miss Mididol's scales. Every piece has its own role to play, and each is just as important as the others. If even one of them is missing, the scales won't work. So let's think about what those roles might be. Oh my god. <laughs> the body. Its role is to support everything else. But what of the others? This is called the arm. Why do you suppose that is? It doesn't look much like an arm. Right. It looks more like a wing. God, do I really have to do this? Will you teach me to ride one one day? think about it. What do arms do? Oh my god, why? Good thinking. Crown. This tiny piece is what's called a cogwheel or gear. Have you ever seen one before? I have. Miss Mididol's dungeon is full of them. Most are on the floor. She puts them in all her inventions. They spin round and round and round and round and. That's right. They're very useful when you want to make things move. I remember if there was anything on the scales that moved. I remember the arm moved when I tried weighing an apple. And then somebody ate it. Not my fault. You should have tried weighing it before lunch. You know what part's supposed to move and how it's supposed to move. So, let's put the pieces together first, see what doesn't move, and then stick the cogwheel to that. Not a bad idea. So I'm not excited about this. I hate these kind of quests. These round parts are called the pans. You all know what a pan is, don't you? I do. Molly uses them in the kitchens to fry bangers. But these aren't for frying bangers, you idiot. They're for weighing stuff. But what if I wanted to weigh goots? I don't think you'd fit on that little thing. <laughs> Probably not. What are the chains for? Hold your pans up? Well spotted. Which means something must hold the chains up in turn. So, now that we've taken stock of the parts and learned what they do, what do you think? I think we've got it. Then here's what we'll do. You tell me what goes where, and I'll put the scales together. <clears throat> Body. 
all the other pieces fit onto it, don't they? And the arms go on the body, just like real arms. Or wings, if you're a chocobo. And then the arms hold the pants by the chains. Very good. Let's see if that works. Ah, all finished. Yes, we did it. Dear. Oh, I just put the pieces together. It was you three engineers who showed me how. That's right. We're Miss Middle's hairs. Her hairs. Yeah, hairs for the future. She's showing us her secrets now. <sighs> Little more help from Miss Mitterdoll and Miss Shirley. I'd say it won't be long at all. <laughs> you forgot the gear. We forgot the gear. Do you try to be honest with Miss Shirley? Those are evil children. Those are some children the corn ass looking kids. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what you're talking about, Kupo. I need to turn that off. Doing good trade then. Both in and out of the hideaway. Hmm. Can't complain. Wait. What exactly are you getting at? Not once in five long years do you pay my affairs half a care. But here you are today raking me over the coals like a bloody popotto. Just asking out of interest. <sighs> All right, Clive, poor baby. I'm here because I was told that certain rumors have been circulating uh, about you selling weapons to brigands. Oh, are ah, yeah. you? And who was it who knows me so well as to tell tales of my evil exploits? I... I, I didn't exactly hear firsthand. All I know is that someone in Dalamil has been spreading word to that effect. And what? You believe it? You think I'm profiting off the blood of innocence, do you? Look. I've done things I'm not proud of. I'd be the word of time when I turned a blind eye to the wretchedness of the world so I could line my pocket. Oh, that woman is no more. And you'd know that if you'd ever paid the slightest bit of notice. I apologize. It was wrong of me to doubt you. No, it was. No. I reckon you've got better things to do than pointing your do-gooding finger at a poor old woman. Of course. Good day.
Well... Teaching the lesson. I'm so sorry, Sid. I know how busy you are. I oh my god. Please, there's no need. It seems to have taken the three of them under her wing. She's even calling them her heirs. She'd have them following her footsteps. And her father's. I see. Sid, do you know why Mid has been spending so much time at the hideaway of late? She has? by events in Canva. Is that not true? No, it isn't. The university offered her a commission. In exchange for full tuition, room and board, we asked her to oversee the design of several new war engines. To anyone else it would be an opportunity, but to Mid, we lost both her parents to war. It was a bitter pain, one she was none too keen to swallow. But that should come as no surprise. She's only ever cared about bringing people home. The very last thing war can be said to do. She explains her heirs. She's working to give them a better life. So shall I. It's the old engineering lesson. Well, we've given them far more than that. And I'm sure they're very grateful. Oh boy. Really? I was gonna say I'm that close to leveling. How goes Leaf? Alright, alright. I kind of despise side quests. But also... I want to be done with them. Oh, goods. You're in trouble. I spoke with Lady Karen. What did she say? That the rumors were unfounded. And that I was a fool for thinking they might hold any truth. Along with some other things that made her feelings clear. And while it sounds like she may have done things she regretted in her past, she says those days are behind her. Oh, well, that's good. I knew Nan wasn't caught up in out bad. But why would people say she was? What did she ever do to them? It's not right. No. It's oh, I'm okay. Uh, hoping that we don't lose power or anything because there is a terrible storm outside to the point people can hear it. They were all talking about her in Dalimil. So that's where I'm going. I'll find someone who'll tell me. You'll see. Are you sure that's wise? Whoever's spreading these rumors means Karen ill. Oh. Right. But that's why you'll be coming with oh my god. I suppose it is. Yeah, well, we're past the warning point. And it's a little lighter, but it's. It is definitely, I would not want to be outside type weather. All right now, maybe. What? Oh. Sorry, I know that was a terrible noise. But I'm really tired of the game locking me in. Progression wise. <laughs> I 
I also just want to do my side quest. Right? Look at the goodest boy. It's like a dream. The four of us out walking like we used to. Enjoying this. Are you? Gavin, the others could be in danger as we speak. You're right. I'm sorry. Yote is a fine scout. If Canva was attacked, she will already. Uh. Probably 20, 25, because I've been, it's a short game compared to other Final Fantasies, I think. Um, but I've been playing pretty much straight through as well. <clears throat> uh, kind of. I've gone through a lot of the mid-boss content, but I've got a lot of other stuff to do. As I should probably save. I have not saved in a hot minute. No idea. Once Baldur's Gate 3 drops next week, I don't care. I don't care what else comes out. This is going to be all Baldur's Gate all the time. We can use the ruins to cross the ravine. Assuming they would allow it, the Echoes have a will of their own. Rude. That is not aiming the way I wanted to. Shit. My controls inverted. Help me, boy. Oh, Shiza. <laughs> yep, controls are inverted. <gasps> Shit, I died.
I am going to be streaming it first thing uh, Thursday. I got to do all that over. Fuck. Uh, What in the absolute fuck? What was shooting at me with a laser? I don't know. I'm not sure what you mean by playing it wrong. Not sure how you could be playing it wrong. <clears throat> Time to fight. I guess the game really is going to let me go just one way. <laughs> well, shit. Well, let me save. <laughs> Welcome back, Zero. Are those things still gone? I have to fight them all again. No, I think they're over there. That motherfucker. I owe you. Aga. Well, that answered that. Oh, I guess I don't stop when the enemies are defeated. Hey, Seven. You're playing this too, yeah? Hmm. Hmm, you know what? I'm going to leave you right there. I don't know what that is. It looks like it'll... Beat my ass. Tell us about Rote, Joshua. She's strong willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners. Ruda. Thank you for just going into my flame breath. Wow, Joshua. And here I am worried about you. Clive has decent manners. He tries to anyway. Oi, a chocobo. Where are you off to now then? Bound for the free cities, perhaps? Oh. No need to say if you'd rather not. Wow. Ain't exactly feeling like sharing strangers myself. 
Then why did you start talking to me? Can I stab him? Can I kill him? Can I kill him? Okay, why is the one brown person we run into gotta be a shady fucking merchant? I just got my Baldur's Gate key. I just got my Baldur's Gate key for my pre-order. Sorry, I'm very excited. Well, I pre-ordered the collector's edition. Sorry, I'm very excited. Oh yeah, I ordered the CE. I was like, you know what? I probably shouldn't spend this money, but fuck it. Oh, they emailed and said if you pre-ordered, you were getting your keys today so you can preload. What happened here? My real comrades. Ether flood. So apparently I've got an extra key now. The question is what to do with it. Cause if you already have it, your digital version is going to pre is going to auto upgrade on August third. It's only a matter of time before they won't stand the chance. We can't let those monsters reach the... But I don't think the CEs are shipping until the original release date. So while I'll be able to play it, I won't be able to... I won't have a physical CE until the end of August. Are you playing it too, Ferret? Thing is, I would do... I, I might do a stream giveaway, but I don't want people coming in just to get a key. <gasps> yes, BG3, yes. <laughs> uh, if you are a sub and using and going to play BG3, uh, use the berry mote. 
If you're not a sub user of a bear emote, might be handy. I know Luke Boogie has some bear emotes as well. Uh, before we go further, I'm going to... I'm going to leave you all to look at them, and I'm going to get a quick bio. I like how Leaf used, like, three emotes. I'm just very excited that I got my key... All right, hang out. I'll be back in a couple minutes. Oh, someone tell Mandy.
a low. A what now? A special dispensation form. What's this? <laughs> I love it. I love it entirely. And of course, some doofus was like, can I get a version of that for my spouse? journey all right sorry for the wait thank you for sharing that dc i'm super excited i have to figure out if i need to delete my other version if i get early access to the game which i don't know if i am I'm sorry, what? I'm not following the all caps patience. Surprised the bot didn't get you. Well, I was being polite when I had stepped away for a break and it took longer than I expected. Because, I don't know, I've got manners. We're nearly there. Have you been to Tabor before? There are a few places I haven't. Welcome, travelers. We don't get many visitors here in Tabor. Okay, but why is... Oh, the fact that we don't have a lot of brown people except in this vaguely desert area is bothering me. There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. Hmm. Tabor Obelisk activated. Oh, of course, someone with a quest. I don't need a diamond sword. Wow, everything you're selling is low level to what I need. I'm good on all my potions, alright. That man did not just say come again. I'm just... <sighs> yeah. I'm, I'm sometimes on the fence of I'd rather not have brown people if this is the best they can do. My lord Marquess, it is an honor. Fuck are you? 
Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of his grace, Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Uh, of course. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Einherjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Einherjar is the Royalist's flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon laid anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva. Yes, some more. Then it is Waludanites who besiege the cities. What is left of them, yes. And the Black Galleon sails up at one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. Oh, Barnabas. Barnabas is kind of fucked up right now. <clears throat> Meanwhile... But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. They're literally at a round table. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened house choking... Isn't that the same guy we just got his luggage back? on charity <laughs> oh shit well distinguished members of the council you must forgive his majesty this intrusion what did you who's this twinkie brought with him a trifle crowded but I fear it will have to serve. You think it is what? Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king ah. has come to save us from the Akashi. <laughs> so you think. The look on his face. Divine intervention, our very salvation. I don't think that's what he's here for. We would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Also, who have braided your hair? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. <laughs> So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them, and see our guests to the dungeons! Oh no. Enough. Do we get to see Barnabas change to- oh shit. 
Oh! <laughs> that man didn't even break a sweat. Jesus. He got them sitting at the table? Holy shit. Hubris. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. Those boots, though. Yes, Your Majesty. Come. God, the fight was. Oh God! Also, where the fuck is Dion? We carried him off, and no one has mentioned Dion in all this time. We got Joshua back, but no one has mentioned Dion at all. Is Dion just in a fucking coma somewhere? Where the fuck is he? How long indeed? Based on what we know about the sections, I would guess some few years. Wow, Zero. Wow. Tapestry. So we basically have this power that no one seems to have informed us about, that no one realizes exists. If Clive is an unwitting hero in the hero's journey, I'm gonna fucking yell. That tapestry's burned. Drake's breath, and now here. What is it? old, ancient, even. That is Ultima. That's Ultima. Joseph Campbell? Is that who voices, uh, the Walud King? Beyond our care. the icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, ah, uh, I never knew who actually wrote the hero's journey or wrote about it. As it appears, he needs you most of all, and gods don't like to be disobeyed. No, I don't suppose they do, Clive. May I tell Yote of the lake? The what? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omiya lost Delan to his sag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If... if that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word. Oh, Joshua, you shouldn't say those things. Well, my lord, my lady. Well, then you're dead, Yote. Let's find our friends. 
seems to be a theme in this game, though. Dion and Terrence. Now Yota and Joshua. And supposedly there's another queer couple in here. Where it's a side quest. And I have not found it yet. Unless someone means Dion and Terrence. But that's not really a side quest. It's plain she cares for you very deeply. And I her. Which is why I had to let her go. Wow, just break my fucking heart, why don't you? Opportunity beckons. Who among you is bold enough to heed her? Is that blade for hire, perchance? Because I have a mind to make a killing. Figuratively, I hope. Well, yes and no. A passing caravan carried with it a rumor most fortuitous for one in my trade. That an elder dread Evis had been sighted in the fields of Karath. Dread Evis are aggressive beasts. Compelled as they are to acts of violence, few survive to maturity. But those that do develop a high of phenomenal value. A high to want to sell. Eventually. Though I would have it tanned first that it might be crafted into marvels the likes of which the world has never seen. Dread Evis skin is a rare thing indeed. But the worked hide of a well-aged beast. Now that would fetch such coin that Gilbot himself might weep with envy. Bring me that beast's skin, and I will share with you the bounty of our combined labors. All right. I'll hunt your Evis. Of course you will. When one lives in such troubled times, it is a fool who lets opportunity slip. Mm. Leave Tabor through the east gate, but take the path that branches west. Once you reach the checkpoint at Tovany, you are a mere stone's throw from the fields of Karava. I eagerly await your safe and, above all, triumphant return. Away. Carved in stone. Bad blood. Field of Carava. I can go knock out three quests here. Fair, I feel like if you streamed games on your cha on your channel, the commentary would be high comedy. I would pay good money to see your commentary on games. Hey, small kill. Thank you for the raid. How are you? Welcome in, everyone. Well, hello, hello. Welcome on in, everybody. My name's Cypher, and I do a bunch of variety, but my variety lately has been Final Fantasy 16 and trying to finish the game before, um... Gotan 66, no less. Gotan Rouge is the only good thing to have ever come out of the Empire. Both wouldn't part with the 66 if they held a knife to their face. So I've heard. Oh, so you know. Clearly you're a gentleman of taste. A gentleman who might sympathize with my predicament, perhaps? Would you pass the good news to a few friends of mine? I was trying to say before Baldur's Gate 3 comes out, but I lost my, the train of thought. Well, come on in, everyone. What were you up to, Smolecule? Welcome in, Marquis and Smolecule and Pachika.
got to think your commentary would be hilarious, Fair. So you'll do it. Marvelous. Thank you. You got me there, Zero. You got me there. Oh, fun. Can I get a shut up for Smolecule, please? If we didn't get one already. Tell them to come to the tavern when they finish for the day. Stop by again when you let them know, and I'll give you your little something. <laughs> I'll be right back. Oh my god. Thank you, Fair. So, while I'm doing side quests, let's talk about the fact that the brown people we met live in this vaguely desert town. Would you happen to be a fighting man, perchance? That well-notched steel and impressive physique. I have need of a sword. Nice. Is this a game or a software to make stickers? How exactly do you intend to use them? Well, being something of a scholar of Zemeckian history, I wish to investigate the ruins near the uh -huh. I require a rugged companion, lest I... Okay, is everyone flirting with Clive? It feels like everyone's flirting with Clive. Should you accept, you will not only earn yourself material wealth, but partake of the true treasure that awaits us there. The rich and storied history of the... No worries. I'm gonna be here a while. I mean, it's Clive. Don't get me wrong. It's Clive. I'm not saying no, but it just feels like everybody's kind of hitting on Clive, if you know what I mean. Where are we going? Along the old Zemeckis road, and from there onward. Oh, be safe, Thousand Young. Be safe. I gotta go do this right now. Good luck with your Nanduels. Wow, he just left. Well, better make sure he doesn't get himself killed. Why are there eight billion side quests here? You've been of some assistance to Eloise. Perhaps you can extend me the same kindness. Perhaps. What would I be doing? Finding someone. You see, I've been having trouble with thieves. And despite the many pains I've taken, I can't stop them from rummaging through my packs. I was lying about my lot to a friend of mine a few days back. He offered to track the culprits down. Now, Joseph's a cell sword, and a good one at that. He's been gone days, and I'm beginning to feel the worst. Well... Fine. The old Zemeckis Road, perhaps? They would be fool enough to linger here in Bucklad. Joseph's lived a hard life. Made him grey long before his time. Just pray he hasn't been killed over a few sacks of grey. I can imagine there are too many grey head cell swords around. And why y'all gotta be ageist? Why? No worries, Fair. I appreciate you being here. Wait, where's my...
I've been asked to find Aldrich, the porter. I don't suppose that's you, is it? That's me right enough. You need something delivered? The innkeeper sent me. He said there's a cup of Gotan 66 with your name on it when you're done for the day. <laughs> a 66? Look at me. If he's just got hold of it now, it must have been in the crates he had me carry down from San Breck. From the Empire to Boklad. He must be a braver man than most. That's a treacherous route at the best of times. Uh, such is the porter's lot. There's not a patch of storm these feet haven't traipsed across. It's Oriflam one day, then off to Canva the next. The farther you're willing to go, the fatter the purse. Which is why there's no shortage of competition for some of the longer routes. I'd say I've done enough for today to earn myself a cup of something tasty. Thanks for letting me know. I'm really out here just telling people that they can go get a drink whenever. How do I get out of here? Who needs a porter when there's no women? Please. A piece of fruit. So what's everyone got going on? Any weekend plans? I know it's the middle of the week, but still. That's me. What can I do for you? The innkeeper's just had a special delivery. He thought you might like to join him for a cup of wine after you pack up for the day. <laughs> he knows me only too well. What's dream con? Oh, nice, DC. from across the narrow. Well, we did, till not so long ago. It's a lean time, isn't it? Even Bocklad is the bustling trading post that wants to us. Still, there's no point dwelling on it. Better to live life while you can, eh? And on that note, it sounds like there's a cup of wine here. Dude's like, fuck the style. We just, we going. Excuse me. Ah. Uh -huh. I remember you work nights. Sorry. Thank you. I was told he'd be guarding the gate. You're not here to enlist, I take it. The innkeeper sent me. He's just taken delivery of a rare vintage. A Gotan 66. You think you might like a cup? You never said no to a Gotan. What about to start now? Thanks for letting me know. I heard Goat Hand. No one's making for the refugee camps anymore. Not after what happened in the Dominion. Meaning, they linger here instead. I all my days moving beggars along than I do manning these gates. What gets to me are the gangs that prey on the poor sods. <laughs> suffer Some days you can't help but wonder what the Lord's doing. <sighs> that wine's sounding better by the moment. Well done. I think you can make a cup of that wine. One moment, I'm just checking a thing.
27, I barely have more channel points than you on Eugenio's channel. I don't know why, but that amuses me to no end. Mine is 175.9. I said barely, and I think if work hadn't happened, I probably would have a few more. I be along soon. That's fantastic news. Thank you kindly. It's been a while since we've sat down together. And the way I see it, that wine is as much theirs as it is my own. How so? Wow. The violence. And then there's Milan, who always sends customers my way. And Bollock, an even-handed keeper of the peace, if ever there was one. Those three are the backbone of Bocklad. Lose any one of them, and the market will soon fall. And without the market, I wouldn't have a single customer. <laughs> I'd say that's worth about 66 million. Or besides... Oof. Wow, call me out, game. Oh, I blew a lot on poles pre getting this job. As well, I had something special in the own set, so bottle between the four was probably enough to drown our sorrows. Here they are, the three pillars of the bottom. <laughs> Sit yourselves down, gentlemen. <laughs> the woes of the world will be monstrous and many, but there's nothing oh. like a few good friends to keep the misery at bay. Never a true word. Ow. Hey Seven, can I be a bother if you're still here? Do you mind asking folks in Eugenio's uh, mod chat to just share the go live tweet? If people can pop in, it's great, but I know it's work o'clock for many people. Char no, not Charcochi. Not Charcochi. Torgal. Oh, yeah, and if you don't have time, do not worry about it at all. All right, all right. Oh, wow, this is a long way away. I'm so question for the chat while I'm side questing. Would people be interested in me streaming to YouTube at all? And and this is gonna sound weird, but you know, don't don't give the whatever makes you happy because that's not really a useful answer. I'm thinking more in terms of. Would people watch on YouTube versus Twitch? No, can't do simultaneous. Even though we can now stream on other platforms, can't do simultaneous streaming. That's still not allowed. No coin on me. Just information. Has a cell sword passed? Oh hi. Well, well, well. Hello. It's side quest o'clock, Eugenio. Hello. Uh, for those that missed it, Eugenio finished Tears of the Kingdom yesterday. Your joy at finishing made me so happy. It also made me want to finish. Um, but I realized I could not get it all done today. And I'm still at a point of frustration with the Lightning Temple. 
I cannot figure it out, and I keep getting lost, and that is not fun for anyone to watch. Yeah, Kelly has offered to help, like on a day she's working from home or something, or even in the evenings, but I wanted to do it on stream, or at least get there on stream. Oh, I'm glad you're here. You can see how pretty this game is, Eugenio. And I have bad spatial reasoning at the best of times. Well, I have the power of the icon. They're calling them icons in this game, not summons. But I'm still trying to figure out how I feel about it. Because... <clears throat> Are you hurt? Happily not, good sir. Just to see if there's any tangible difference, since we can stream on YouTube now. Because um, remember, previously partners couldn't do that. You had to stream just on Twitch. Because the numbers are down across the board, and I don't know how it would be. And I've never actually tried to stream to YouTube. me if you would. Does anything strike you as peculiar about this particular specimen? Though we ourselves find fallen ruins to be nigh indestructible. Whatever gouged the final sin from the rock cleaved clean through the structure you see before you. A tantalizing mystery, no doubt. But merely one of the countless enigmas in which Zemeckian history is steeped. Come, good sir. Our expedition continues. And we still have much to learn. So... My, my initial gripe with the game was there were no people of color. And then it turned out that the game's conceit is all about slavery. Which I'm not excited about. Then they beat you over the head with it. Up until about this point in the game. But then we get to Dalamel, and where we finally meet somewhat brown people, who are clearly stand-in for Middle Eastern. And they're the most ne'er-do-well, money-grubbing people I've met in this game. And I'm just like, why? Why are you all like this? Oh wait, humans wrote you. <laughs> I'm here just holding on to my... What do you call it? I forgot the name of my special attack just that quickly. Wow. Lauren, hello. Oop. Thank you for your resub and Eugenio too. 38 months, damn. I'm excited to see you in panel with you in a, in a month and a half. Oh, wow. It's still morning for me, but barely. Maybe he found his thieves. I, uh... She said there's goblins out there, and that they eat little boys for dinner. Yeah, I'm going to PAX West. I've tweeted about it. I'm on two panels. I've mentioned it several times. I'll be in town a whole week, Lauren, by the way. Uh, depending on what you're doing on the 30th, uh, V and I are conspiring shenaniganry. I wish you were going to be there, Eugenio, only just because we're doing the the DM panel again. The hell is this marker? Oh, okay. Oh, 
Oh, same. I refuse to pay for Twitter Blue. I am never going to pay for Twitter Blue. And I let them take my fucking check mark before I before I would ever get Twitter Blue. I feel a way. I have many feelings about Twitter Blue. And you know what? We're just going to You, but you have fun plans, yeah? A parry animation. Uh, yeah, Jermaine, if you check the media tab on my Twitter, you should, uh... You should see it pretty easily. Or Blue Sky might be either, might be easier, because I just put it on Blue Sky. I've been using that way more. Oh, fun! Oh, shit! I get to be a mini Bahamut, but I also want to do Giga Flare. Oh, rude. Yeah, but I'm just thinking about it because numbers have not been great no matter when I stream lately, so. I also really don't want to use a potion, but I might have to. I'm hurt, Torgal. You know what? You are irritating the shit out of me. This is overkill and I don't care. You rude motherfucker. a high potion, but I'm hurt. I'm hurt, Torgal. I don't know how the fuck to get there, though. And there's no prompt to let me climb. So, oh, wait, there is. I missed it. Good job, me. I didn't even have to fight that thing. Uh, but I am planning unplugged. Although, I'm, I don't know if you saw it, Lauren, but and you, know, you and I have talked about this as well. Probably to the point of annoyance from for me, from me. Um, I'm going, I'm planning on Unplug, but I don't feel like I've got a spot in the RPG industry anymore. Are you really running up? You ran up on me. To me boy. You know what? You. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel, and this is me just being honest. There's a lot of people that talked a good fucking game about, oh my god, I'd love to play with you. It's my dream to sit at a table with you. But, clearly not the truth when I see them announcing show after show and thing after thing. be fun. I mean, hopefully I'll get to see you before December once you move up here. Or down here. Yeah, I wouldn't say come to Unplugged. 
to just to play, there's other opportunities where or we can make an opportunity to play. Your porter friend sent me to find you. Got yourself killed. Yes, please remember seven and be good to hang out. The problem was knowing what to do with them when I did. I take it things are more complicated than they appear. But yeah, there's a, oh my god, it's my dream to play with you and sit at a table with you. And I'm like, whatever. Tell me another fucking lie at this point. Because our thieves had no interest in gold or gems or anything they couldn't eat for that matter. Add to that the rumors of goblins in the area and the mystery practically solved itself. I soon found that cozy missing food. I launched myself at them, full of delicious fury, but their leader was the only one who moved to meet me. The others, they huddled around that food, ready to die, protecting it. They stole because it was that or starvation. I think that's a crown fair. Or seven. such barren land so I've been teaching them and once they've learned to hunt and forage they won't be fool enough to risk their necks I'm impressed I'm trying to see when hotels are going to open let the porter know I'm safe oh does he once my work here is done oh and oh wow don't mention the goblins I don't want people coming here brandishing pitchforks. Not now this lot of Okay, this Fabio hair on the goblin is sending me. I appreciate it. Thank you. We did all that. Right? I'm trying to knock out all the side quests that are here since I'm over here. Seriously. But are we wrong though? Man, all I get is 25 gil, really? Oof. Duh. I feel like Clive's gonna break a leg or some shit doing this. He's doing these hard tumbles off of the fucking ground. Wow, they're six levels lower than me. This isn't fair. Well, Lauren, do you all have a PlayStation 5? So I thought you just got an Xbox. Because it's only on PS5 right now. I don't know if they'll ever bring it to PC. I mean, they probably will, but it may be a couple years. You enabler. You're going to get yourself killed. Oh, that would not do. That would not do at all. I like how Clive is very much. I'm done with this shit. Behold, the final sin in all its glory. As Ow. I think a mosquito got me. <sighs> wow, fair. Great was the vengeance that was rained down upon Alas, the full truth is lost to 
Though I live in hope that I might see it discovered. Oh, we should play. Oh, wait. There is more yet to see. Lauren, don't buy a headset if you can wait. I have so many headsets, I can bring you one. Unless you really need one before I see you at PAX. I literally am looking at four different headsets. I don't buy one. The perk and the pain of being sponsored by a company that makes peripherals. I have so many fucking headsets. Fair, Fair literally forced me to buy Tears of the Kingdom strategy guide. Uh, I am more than happy, Lauren. I have so many headsets. I'm actually looking at the Aurora Collection one, and I know where the dongle for that is. So I can bundle that up and bring it with me. Okay, I need to hear the story, please. And thank you. Because now I need to know how you forced anyone to buy anything. Please explain. I need to know the story. For my own amusement, if nothing else. Please explain. Eugenio, is, is Final Fantasy 16 something you'd ever play or not really? I'm just curious. Since you usually like a lot of long form games. Hey Black Widow. Now, you know what? I've got one from Xbox in the box. Um, so, question. Would you want one that's for Xbox? Because I've got brand new A50s still in the box. Like, haven't been opened with the receiver that I found when I rearranged my office. And I've also got just an Xbox, designed for Xbox headset also still oh jesus christ what the fuck is that miss Cusey? sorry i was in the middle of a sentence and i ran across whatever the fuck this thing is okay well one is astro one is directly from xbox That they sent me and then I never set up because it took me a while to get an Xbox One X and now I barely use it? Especially with games like this being only on PS5. Brood Jelly? Rude. I am so sorry. I did not mean to just suddenly cuss at y'all. Cuz... I'm running along, and here we go. It was just some fucking random jelly that showed up. Oh, shiza. Why? Why are you like this game? I'm minding my business in the desert, running along, and suddenly, an ooze. And I saw you answer me, Henio. I will look in a moment. I did also get Giga Flare, and I'm not sure I like it. Holy shit. I killed that thing, and all I got was 19 gil, not even an even 20? Are you for real? All right. Oh, I got you. Okay. Um, all right. Good luck with meetings. All right. So I need to hear this. 
So, Lauren, if you're okay giving me your address, I can get out next week before I leave town and just ship it to you. So I've actually got to send DJ something, too. So, yeah, Eugenio had gotten the book. Seven said they wanted but weren't sure about the cost. I looked at him and let him know it was under 30 on Amazon for the hardcover and dropped a link. It was super innocent. No, no, it's fine. I, if you're fine, give me your address. Otherwise, I'm going to have a big luggage anyway. Um, and I'll probably have to carry it with me because it's got a lithium battery in it. And you, they don't want that in check bags. <clears throat> Fair me break down Seven's door. <laughs> She explained that Seven had a nice place and that it would be a shame if something happened to it. Fair then gave Seven a link to the guide. Do the right thing. Wow. Y'all make this sound like a mafia hit. Uh, the only Final Fantasy I've ever played is 14, so I'm not opposed. Just not j got it. Are you still playing 14? Because I keep paying for it and I have not logged in in a while. Zero, I'm sure that you make, that you swear way more than I do. You probably could put me to shame for swearing. And I've got a terrible mouth. Well, the thing is, they, they don't want anything with batteries in checked bags. And... Headphones, because they have to recharge, now have a lithium battery in it. I still can't believe I beat that jelly and only got 10 gil. I'm mad about it. Or 19 gil. So, I mean, I was thinking of carrying, like, a, a second bag anyway. Slander and calumny. It's not calumny. I'll not have you be saying I'm giving out the calumny. This damn game has me wanting to do accents very badly. I'll need to take your slander. Uh, finally stop paying for it. Theoretically, I'd be happy to jump back into it. Oh, no, I just wondered because I do like the game, but I got put off because I had really bad experiences teaming with randos. So. Oh, good. Thank you for all lining up in one row. My brother has basically the consumption... And he's just, like, in the way. Welcome back. I miss you, Eugenio. I hope that does not sound weird. I'm still not alright after us not doing rivals. Where the fuck am I going? Sorry, I'm now, I'm now really lost. And I got to see you in person a few times this year. Um, question, do you know about next week? You know about next weekend, yeah? Okay, where am I going? I'm lost. Okay, I need to make a left at Albuquerque. You know I'm in town, right? Oh. But up by where Kelly is and where Deidre is. Yeah, I added you to the group chat. V, unfortunately, isn't free, but we still have to ex decide exactly what the plan is. I get into town Friday evening. Uh, I'm flying in by where Kelly is, though. But we can figure it out. Because there's a train that goes right to where Kelly is. We discovered when I was there last time for gaming awards. Uh, I'll ping you. 
Oh no, more Akashic. Oh no. He's really got himself into trouble this time. Yeah, I'm flying in and out by where uh, Kelly is. Whoa! Rude, rude. Okay. Um, yo, that was rude. I might have to go back to the hideaway or somewhere for potions. Yo, Cusinart, could you not? Yeah, it's a short trip, but uh, there's shenanigans we planned if you and or Sam is available. I just don't know if we if we're if we're going up to Deidre's on Friday night or Saturday morning. Go, Targle. Be the goodest boy. these things uh. damn what did Joshua just do oh my hand I don't know if I'm gonna make it through the ultimate flight fight but yes I am in town next week briefly I get in Friday, leave Monday, so basically it's for the weekend. It would seem so. Once more, I am in your debt. And once more, you will be pressed with your parents. These were no more. But once we in the three call echoes, no moss the chronic occurs with the legends and tributes of calls and echoes to the wrath, nor for the I will. It's not till next Friday, Lauren, so I got some time. <laughs> Kelly and I are trying to figure out a way to, like, go CV for lunch or something. Because it's almost a two hour drive from Kelly to V. And Mandy is supposed to be there? But I know you mentioned Gen Con. And I'm hoping Pirate still wants to go. Only have you plucked me repeatedly from the jaws of death. You have proven yourself a willing audience to my ramblings. Yeah, and I'm not taking anything with work. Didn't you say you came here to investigate something? Oh, I hope I get my replacement work laptop soon. Because, um, it's got a memory leak. Even my fellow. Well, I'm, everything I'm doing is NDA, so I couldn't work around other people anyway. I'm sorry, what? Did you buy a person? Did you buy someone? Are you talking about me? This man... Um, I've got Slack and work email on my phone if something absolutely needs my attention, but I wouldn't have my work laptop and I couldn't log into any system, so it would make a difference. Here, your reward for humoring my selfish whims, plus a little extra for the trouble I have put you to. Cause I have like three layers of authentication to get through for work. But yeah, we're just, we're just chilling. 
just basically be out on the lake, barbecue. Alright, I used way more items than I planned to. Okay, I need to go do bad blood, but first let's... Where is this where I'm at? Oh, I'm right here, so never mind. Let me turn this in and then see if I can find a merchant. Oh wait, a merchant's right here. Ha ha. What are <laughs> Many thanks. You've a discerning eye. Many um. A fine choice. You've a discerning eye. Many thanks. Uh, my friend who worked there before me, her husband has on occasion walked by during meetings, but she's also wearing headphones, so. Joseph's fine. He'll be back once he's tied up a few loose ends. <sighs> That's a weight off my shoulders. He certainly knows his business. You found your thieves all right. And I dare say they won't be... Oh, well, it's on. Good man to have around, that Joseph. And if he says there'll be no more thieving, that's good enough for me. Thank you for putting my mind at ease. Here, for your... So a question for the chat, especially those that are involved in games. So, Yuhani, if you're still here, I'd be interested in your thoughts as well. When games have this narrative dissonance, because Mar brought it up... And I actually threw it in the in the work discord because we have a we have a discussion channel for stuff like that and things like I come across someone who's absolutely starving and I've got all of this stuff in my pack but I can't but I can't help them for instance Or you can only give people things if the quest calls for it. But I'm running around with 35,000 gil and there's all these broke-ass people here. And I can't help them at all. I mean, narratively, it's going to be hard to... Narratively, it's hard to, to... I mean, you would just... You would never finish quests if that was the case. If you could stop and give stuff to every single NPC you run into, especially with how often you run into NPCs in games. Oh, nice. Wait, caramel cold brew M&Ms? Wow, I like how we just, like, ran up. Cyril. Look, you need to start telling me who your friends are, just... Yes. My report shall be with you ere long. Joshua, because I'm about to cut people's heads off. Yes. Rotate is otherwise engaged at my best. And the duty of wardenship fulfilled. Mmm. His grace, the flame of the phoenix, the rightful archduke of Brazil. Yes, let's say this out on the street where no one is supposed to know I'm alive. I will read Eugenio's reply in a moment. say lazy it could be scope restricting to people too but you may now think of them as ours that won't be a problem will it wow the look he gave his brother it is from the darkness that we serve
I accept this token. Presidents and bearer, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you. If there is nothing further. Oh, that would have been a nice narrative touch. I'm I'm always hesitant to call developers lazy, even before I got this job. I, I'm always hesitant to call developers lazy because we never know what, what scope they had to cut or anything like that. Carved in stone. You certainly keep strange beds. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. That I can totally understand, yeah. Where the hell is this NPC? Okay, can't run through there. Game, where are you sending me? Not that way. Not that way. <laughs> yeah. Well, as I'm learning, there's a lot of times where you would love to do the grandiose thing, but the grandiose thing does not fit in the scope that you would like to have, if that makes sense. Let's go do this thing with Goots. I mean, I've written myself into many corners already in many drafts. Uh, it feels like an element they created for the world, but didn't exactly know what to do with it. Also like a throwaway thing, but it feels kind of icky when we're talking about places like this town where everyone is brown and the rest of the world really isn't absolutely true. There's also the fact that, you know, at a certain point, you know that your players are only going to spend so much time doing a thing. Sorry, I got distracted. I can climb up there. And then there are players like me that are fucking magpies that stop and look at everything. There's also the added sticky widget of open world games where you have to consider while you may have written or designed literally, you have no you have no say over the order players do a thing unless you gate them from doing it. Like how this game has now gated me from doing certain things because the rest of the map is locked except for the one place it really wants me to go. You're fine, Eugenio. You're absolutely fine. Um, but, you know, the things that I'm learning in this job is making me think about this stuff way more. And half the time, I probably wouldn't think about it even while playing this game. But Murr's question really kind of sparked that for me. Of what the fuck. Because, again... And you're also a former noble, so there's the the little bit of it where you're you could have been helping these people, and yes, you. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. You know, you're also learning the fact that the world is not what you thought it was, Clive. All right, bye, thousand. Be safe with power tools. Oh no, another. The sword. Everyone's hitting on me. Finally. All right, bye, Sam. Hi and bye. Have good lunch. At the university, the I will text you when I take a quick break. Sadly, this far from home, I'm just a vagrant graybeard. The university. You're a scholar. Oh, and the world building with this is... It feels like they, they could really do better, but... And I, I've come to despise the term ludonarrative dissonance, even though I know that's the actual term. 
am a wizened, wind bag, bested by the many steps of Tabor. The answers I seek lying just beyond my enfeebled reach. Would you do a We're really gonna go. Oh my god. Sure. Inscriptions for me. Some courteous soul is half pleased to take his rich history into stone. You're gonna have to wait, dude. Are you for real? What you can. I'll piece together the Can we just help him up there? Can we just help him up the stairs? Oh my god. I just want to get to where Goots is. Why is this so difficult? Uh. I was headed there and I got distracted like a magpie and now I've got a side quest. Good job, me. Oh, sleepy chocobo. Hi, Chocobo buddy. I don't know why I'm talking to Chocobo like I found a puppy. This Chocobo is, is sleeping. Okay, that requires... This requires uh, photo mode. Look at this sleepy baby. I can hear Joshua now. We've got a dog. You cannot keep this chocobo. Actually, we have chocobos. I keep forgetting. I mean, they are, but... Foster. I keep forgetting we actually have a chocobo. Nah. Also, I wouldn't want a chocobo to kick me. I'm just looking at their claws. Like, that looks painful. Goots, where are you? Good. <sighs> Yeah, uh, Lauren, did you know you could pet the doggo, though? We can pet our doggo, friend. No, I don't want to beat up the chocobo. They do. Ah. Dang it. Someone there! Please, I, I can't move my leg! 
Doesn't sound like an Akashic. Where are you? Er? That's not where we're trying to go, Torgal. Where is the voice coming from? I, uh... This ether flood is not helping. I cannot hear him. He sound... The po The pointer looks like it's under us. Aww. Where's this man at? I heard the voice. Where? Where are you? You all heard the cry for help too, yeah? He's way over there? Why the fuck are you over here? I cannot help you. Is he way up? Why is he behind the rock? Why? Why? Why are you back here? You're with the battalion? I am. I heard the fight from <clears throat> the others. They didn't care of. One of your brothers in arms told me what happened and asked for help. Another survivor. Where is he? <sighs> His wounds were too deep. <sighs> he was right to send you. Labor is safe, thanks to you. Yeah. You've it. Dang, fair. How many channel points you got? It's only 12.30. It feels like I've been on forever. You must have me confused with someone else. Son of a whore. Oh, shit. I was there in Cosmos when you killed my brothers. I was there in Rosalind when you killed my commander. My war with Hugo Kupka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. And what of my ill will? Coward! Draw your steel. Really, dude? Really? Oh. Should we kill him? Oh, decisions, decisions. How good of a man am I trying to make Clive Rossfield to be? He's following Hugo Kupka, who's quite dead at this point. And he wants revenge for Kupka, knowing what a terrible man he is. Fine, if you insist. If you insist. For Tyson! Have you been watching Scooby Doo lately? Kill me! The sins of the master. Oh, 
God damn it. I will not strike a man who cannot defend himself. No. I won't be Lord Kupka told us of your criteria. Wow, I tried to help you. Can we just kill him? I did all that to come and help you. I killed all those Akashic creatures. Wow. Lord Kuka's dead. I felt kind of... Now, I will admit, I felt a little bad for Kupka toward the end. Mainly just because... It's clear how pitiful he was. Are you buying or selling? And his... His mind was broken. Fine choice. Come again. By the time we got to Okay, I'm confused by carved in stone. Keeps giving me a pointer and I don't know where to go. Oh, I don't care about that. So an eye for an eye, okay. Oh my god. I want to know how he didn't bleed out. I need someone to explain that for me. How did he not bleed out? That's my question. It will remain my question. His hands were cut off. Those were arteries. He should not have survived getting his hands cut off. I know something more. What's it worth to you? Uh, I've got. Clive, listen. I found someone who says he's heard the rumors about Nan. Have you? Go on. Tell him what you told me. All right. It's like I said. A wizened old crone by the name of Karen's been selling steel to whoever will pay her price, be they knight. Or knave. Says the more swords and spears she puts in people's hands, the more war they'll wage. And the more war they'll wage. Call for swords and spears. Hand wave explanation like a bear in his entourage. No, he gets picked up by um, the Walud King's squire, whoever he is. Where exactly? She has a stall here in the market, but if you're not the patient, you can probably find her at her storehouse. Ah, I got you. But it'd be a bolder man than me that played that particular nest of vipers. Feeling bold, traveler? Hope, Chat, what should I do for lunch? I've got plenty of fruit. But fruit isn't easy to eat while playing. You don't think Nan's the Reaper, do you? Not unless she's discovered the secret of how to be in two places at once. Eh? What do you mean? She's a skits. 
So who has been running this stall he spoke of? Good question. Oh my god, Goots, you're not bright. I'll visit this storehouse on the edge of town. Uh, well, now that it's not pouring rain and the sun is out, I could do pizza, and when it gets here, take a little break. And come back to it. Um, or... I've got to go all the way around and out of this fucking bazaar. I hate this. Um, or out the gate. Um... There's dumplings, or maybe like fried rice or something. Excuse me. Actually, what's easier? Wow, I'm going the wrong way. I'm absolutely going the wrong way, so let's go here. All right, bye, Zero. Um, ideally, something that I could either quickly eat with a fork, a spoon, or like McDonald's or something. Because then I can um, like eat fries or, or nuggets or something. I might have laid it on a bit thick. It was a fairly unconvincing tale. So, what now? That's up to you. Die a slow death, or a quick one. Boys, he's all yours. But that sword is mine. You did all this to get my sword? Are you for real? <laughs> Dumplings would be a little harder to eat, but... They're just not bright. Really? No, you don't. Nope, we're just gonna make a flare. really thought a bunch of hired hands were going to take me out and take my sword. Okay. Cool. <gasps> Kelly's on. Wait, it's Wednesday. Oh, you've done it now. Go on. Tell me what I've done. When the Borgwin finds out you've killed his men, he'll have your head. He only wanted that full of a man servant, the dim one always clinging to Karen's skirts. You weren't even supposed to be here. Who the hell are you anyway? What were you going to do to him? The Borgwin wanted him to get to Karen. 
I was only supposed to point the lump in the right direction once he arrived in Dalamil. But then you turned up. Mm-hmm. Go on, then. If you're going to end me, end me. You're not worth the effort. Damn. Be gone. Before I change my mind. <laughs> Fucking coward! Did he just call me a coward? Right now. So that's another thing in games where it's like clear that you can murder everyone without even breaking a sweat. Get your filthy paws off me, you naughty painted lout! Stop calling me names! And stop spreading them honorable lies about Nan! Well, that will be easy enough. enough. For they are not lies. Every last word is true. And she must pay for her... Oh, really? Fair? Weren't you here the other day? Lord! Goose, are you all right? Hey, hey. <laughs> He's gonna kill Nan! She had to pay in blood! After what she did, it is only right. She ruined my life and the lives of countless others ah loathsome harpy's very existence is a crime and i will not allow it to continue goots was it i have no quarrel with you only with your employer run along now you need not pay the this man said run along like i'm a puppy no i don't care what she did I won't let you hurt Nan. Promise me you won't hurt her, or I'll, or I'll, or I'll kill you myself. Good. No. Enough, all of you. The fuck? Karen. But how did you? <laughs> You're a sight less clever than you think you are, the pair of you. Did you think I wouldn't notice it till you're sinking off to you? Right? Well, the whole thing got me thinking. Who in Dalamil might bear me a grudge? And a certain snivelling shit I ran afoul of in the fairy years came to mind. Though it was just Bogan back then, won't it? I thought the years might have taught you some sense. But I see you're the same pants pissing. Do I have, thing. like, two different colour eyes? What was it we called you? Wet legs. You, <gasps> you bitch. Everything that happened. It was all your fault. You pulled your knife. Finally pay for what you did to me. What did I do to you? Goods, you. If you want a piece of nan. You'll have to go through me. All oh, good. You great galoot. Out of the way, I can handle this myself. So, wet legs. You remember what you told me when we last met? An eye for an eye. <gasps> words, words, uh, words. Oh shit. <gasps> oh shit! Oh, that must have been hell in the recording booth. <laughs> Holy shit! Karen wasn't fucking around. Died? No. Uh, wow. After all, I should know. You don't mean it. Oh, don't tell me you didn't notice. Lost it to old wet legs back when we were working the same route. Said I'd stolen from his strong box. I'd done nothing of the sort, mind. But that didn't stop me taking his little revenge. So he lost everything. His coin, his clients. I always knew he'd be back one day to claim his due. 
crossed all our gaping old boots into this. It didn't hurt you, did it? No, Nan. Still got all my arms, see? Legs too. <laughs> all good. What if he comes back again? What if he does? First we take the other eye, then we work our way down. <laughs> Jesus! But something tells me the wet legs has learned it already. Right. Let's get you back to the hideaway. You've attracted quite enough attention already. Ta-da, Clive! Goots. Goots is not the sharpest crayon in the box. Wow. All right, then. All right, can we turn in these side quests, please? I don't care about those other missions. Wow. Why do we have to go to Dalmechia for that, though? Gutes is sweet, but he's not the sharpest crayon in the box. I kind of don't like the lumbering oaf stereotype that Gutes has as well. Expecting to be here, but it seems we still owe you a considerable amount of coin for your help in our rebuilding efforts. And though I doubt it's what you were expecting, I were hoping you'd take this as payment. A star, Ruby? I can't accept this. It's worth at least twice what you owe me. More if you can find yourself the right buyer. Think of the difference as interest. Interest? If word got out, I charged that much, no one would ever borrow from me again. Anyway, why are you the one here asking me about this? I'd have expected our turn. Bit much sending the Lord Marcus out this every day, isn't it? No go working himself to death again. Something like that. Most days I think he's the only reason the hideaway's still standing. Same as always, eh? Back when the place was nothing but a twinkle in the eye of a recently retired Lord Commander, word is he was the first one Sid reached out to. Probably knew that without his strong arm and level head, the idea would never get off the ground. Sid may have been the face of the hideaway, but Otto's always been the backbone. And when Sid passed away, we were all worried that would be the end of it, that Otto would just give up. His death was hard on everyone. But I must have hit Otto hardest of all. But he didn't give up, did he? Quite the opposite, in fact. If I recall, he was the one who nominated you as Sid's replacement. And rallied the rest around you. I reckon what he saw in Sid, he saw in you too. And don't we all? Doesn't hurt that you're half as stubborn and twice as handsome, neither. Wow. <laughs> I've only been on three and a half hours. I don't know why, but it feels like I've been on much longer. I also meant to be up a little earlier than I actually was. But I was like, I don't have a meeting. I don't need to do anything. Okay, so it's not just me. My lady, I come bearing gifts. Gifts? Whatever is the occasion. That dress is bothering me. I don't know what it is about it.
I feel like it's just gonna slide right off her tits. Mm, my. Clive, you really have outdone yourself. Otto asked me to give it to you. To settle the hideaway's dead with the veil. And to compensate you for the time it took us to do so. Oh, you disappoint me, Clive. See what I mean, Lauren? I just feel like she's one nip slip away. I tried to tell him as much the first time around. The man owes me nothing, nor does the hideaway. My contribution to the restoration effort was made freely and freely. It was the least I could do. I'd like to do the same. Please, accept it. For my sake. And for Otto's. For all of us. For all you've done. <sighs> it is rather fetching, isn't it? What do you mean, fair? Otto is lucky to have you, Clive. I doubt anything could ever replace his son. But you and the others at the hideaway are the closest thing he has to family. Long ago. Yes. Sid told me it was to know he was just a boy. He blamed himself for not being able to stop it. I don't know how it happened. Whether there was anything he could have done. But it was clear that it weighed heavily on him. Mm. How could you have? I don't know what you did. Besides Sid. Right. I know you meant her dress. I was just curious what you meant about her hairstyle. Should it be down or something? I'm beginning to see that. I just realized. Clive doesn't have the usual... If he's still with us. RPG-ish, um, something around the neck. To differentiate the head and body. That's what the captain said. Uh, guess I got to go over there. Uh, Apocrates said I should be able to find what I'm looking for somewhere nearby. Bright blue dragons and bright yellow flowers. Should be easy enough to spot. It's a dragon. This must be our wyvern. All right. Let's get this over with. I think she's supposed to be kind of matronly. Ugh! <sighs> 
Hello, hello, Nestor. How are you? That's the wyvern's liver. Now I just need to find the herbs. Bright yellow with a heady scent. All right, uh, let me look now. What? I'm sorry. That was unexpected. Um, let me let Steven know because he streams today. Uh, I am I have not looked at my phone once since I started streaming. So So thank you for the heads up fair. Oh, did the, oh, I paused my own stream. Good job me. I hit pause by mistake. Did I pass the flowers I need to get? Is stream still up for you all? Because it paused for me, I had to refresh. Okay. It froze for me when I tabbed out, so I was worried. Okay, thanks, because, uh, you never know. All right, is there any more side questing I can do before I head back? Nope, I think I've actually cleared all my side quest logs. Um, let's go back to the hideout and then get back to main quest. And I'll order some food. Oh, can you let Kelly know? Do you have a mod sword in Kelly's chat, Fair? Oh, I can do it. I just thought for some reason you had a mod sword there, too. Um... I'm going to drop it in our mod chat, and if you don't mind going into chat and uh, war forewarning her in case people try to, and I'll open a tab with her stream.
excuse me. No worries. I, for some reason, thought you did. So, I did. He told me exactly what to look at. Excuse me. Okay, thank you. What I think I'm going to do is um, order some food. I'm debating if I want to stop stream or not. But but I need to go talk to Karen. Why can't I go talk to Karen and come back? Well, I gotta stay right here. But let me actually. Fried mortress of skyworm. Oh jeez. He is good as bread. And rightly so. Is there any higher honor than partaking in a slice of culinary history? <laughs> I wonder if that's why Luke ended already. Cause Luke normally doesn't end this early. So not fit for consumption. What witchery is this? The crackle of the crust gives way to an almost violent richness. Yet, it is the piquant kiss of the saint's bonnet that tames this savage dish. It is a tour de force, a force of nature even, a maelstrom of flavor and sensation, a graceful beast emerging from centuries of slumber. I think he likes it. I can't tell with all that nonsense he's talking. I reckon you might be right. It was decent then, I take it. It's, it's remarkable. And I defy any man to say a word to the contrary. Sid, might I suggest that you command a party of your finest men and women to procure a dozen blueback wild birds forthwith? I'll give us some thought. That sucks. <clears throat> oh shit. I need to tell DJ because DJ now put a rule in his chat about not coming in and dropping news about celebrity deaths. Oh, uh, Nestor, you're here, right? Can you forewarn DJ or make that a, a block term in his chat before he goes live? I'm, sorry. I'm like, I don't have a mod sword. I can't do anything there. I just thought I had to protect you, but you protected me. Aye, well someone had to. Your parents certainly didn't give a wait for your well-being. I reckon the both of us would be worse off if I'm not taking you on. You've always been me right eye, Goots. And I'd have you stay that way. So don't you dare go looking for trouble again. Well, I will. If you ever need help, I'll do it again. Oh, good. Oh, good. I won't let you down. Oh, good. He's such a sweet bean. There's nothing he wouldn't do for you. That's as maybe. But if he's ever to make his own way in life, he'll need to start looking out for himself as well. Till then. He'll need people to watch his back, just like you did in Dalamil. Those who didn't appreciate that. Of course. He's done me. Stop it. You made me one good eye, mister. I don't go thinking that'll do you any favours. I'll to 
Wow, thanks, Karen. Thanks. The sun has the nerve to come out right now, y'all. Close. Still alive, I see. So Lady Karen accepted the ruby. Ah, oh, she was just too stubborn to take it. She threw it right back in my face and said, Tom, I could stick my stupid stone where the sun was. Karen refused payment. I hope it wasn't something I said. I'm sure you were as tactful as ever. Let me see what I can do. Oh, wonderful. I hope you have better luck than I did. I gotta go talk to her again. I just fucking talk to her. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Your benefactors are a generous lot. This game really said you're gonna talk to this NPC you don't like. Let me go talk to Karen and come back. So I feel like talking to Otto is going to be main quest. Also, let me unprioritize. Lady Karen, Goad tells me you weren't happy with our offer. Would you prefer the debt was repaid in coin? Montek, I don't recall lending any of you lot me hard-earned gill. I may have tossed a talent or two in the Hardaway's coffers, but those were donations, and you can hardly call it charity if you go asking for it back. Of course not. But one good turn deserves another, and our circumstances have changed. Surely you wouldn't shun the gratitude of a pauper who happened to have become a prince. Oh, so you're a prince now, are you? Well, technically he is. I'm selling it and taking what I'm owed, then you're getting the rest whether you like it or not. Oh my god, why is she so stubborn? Uh... Wow. The fan continental made his beauties only eclipsed by a gallery in Columbus. Not at all. Just be sure to tell her that it's always a pleasure doing business. Last month's wages. Oh, so you remember what's owed to you then? Get your ass behind this camera if you don't get out before those ledges are square. What are we? We've seen that before. Plenty of times. It was the only god that Sid ever used. Because the filthy soul couldn't be bothered to find the truth. Wow. I know so little about it. 
Arthur and the Dame they seem to have fond memories of him. But they do. Did he know Sid before? He died. Twenty summers. Back in the day, I was a purser on a trade ship. Which is where I met him. He brought passage to... I oh, forget where. And having nothing better to do on the long nights, I sat and drank a bottle of wine until the morning bell dragged me back to my duties. Quit my post not long after that. On account of making a fine maiden's belly fat. But me and Sid stayed close. Oh, so you knocked up someone, I see. Before fate stepped in and said she was having none of it. Jesus. Well, I didn't need those emotions today. Thanks. <clears throat> he was always too clever for his own good, was Sid. Saw the world for what it really was. <laughs> Tied it up in a bit. This note. What about it? Sid was right. Without you, we would be lost. Are Sid and Otto the other queer couple? Once 
Why would he? Him or anyone? I don't know. Piss off. It was never just me keeping the hideaway afloat. It was all of us. I just shot people in the right direction. Barely seemed to be able to do that. left in me. <laughs> I'm going to hold you to that, Otto. Before you go... Sid would have wanted you to have this. But that's... This will do me just fine. Thanks for the ray of sunshine. We'll see if I can't pay you back. Already have. Wow, I didn't need those fucking emotions today, Jesus. those feelings <sighs> I didn't expect that and it doesn't help that I know now know the actor who played Lord Byron actually passed away in real life oh man this game How do I get a light shard? else game i have unchecked that mission so many times stop prioritizing it
course, Giga Flare. No worries, have a good meeting, and I am very excited to see you in a little over a month. Smooth like butter. What the fuck is this mission? Five's quarters, ah. Fair, we need a way to get you to PAX Unplug this year for shenanigans. If you don't think we'd murder each other. You can try to book a, a two-bed queen whenever we can book rooms. I regret that both of you and the lump had to get all tangled up in the wicked weave of my sordid past. But thanks to your meddling, I was finally able to put to rest matters that were left too long to fester. And with that finally done, might might be I can sit back and enjoy this new world of yours you're so keen on creating. One don't need a pair of eyes to see the good you've done. Well, the money part, maybe I can be of help with. Sebastian Rutherford. Rutherford. Was not the name of my uncle's manservant. Okay, Colin. Yeah, let's chat about it, because it's too early to book. Um, it's too early to book, but also I will I will send you a full message, but I've Put your name forward for an opportunity for PAXU and it would help cover travel. Assuming you're able to get the time off. Well, of course, fair. Hey, mm. J.A., hello. Sorry, I had food in my mouth. Did you make it safely back home? So question for the chat, as I've been on four hours, it's already 1.30. I don't know if I'll actually get through Final Fantasy like I wanted. So if I were to take a food break. My Lord Marcus, is that you? Yay. Sebastian 
I can't look at this name without thinking about Dragon Age. Martha's rest at the behest of your lord uncle tasked with learning what I am able of the realm's current state of affairs and what I have learned is grim the fall of the mother crystals has left storm in a state of utter disarray subsequent darkening of the heavens has only made things worse the classic attacks once unthinkable are now commonplace the gears of governance have ground to a halt, and without a steady hand on the tiller, the realm threatens to drift into utter chaos. Your lord, uncle, however, believes there is a way to avoid this fate, and is determined to see it set in motion. Oh no. Like quite the undertaking. Hence my hands, of several colleagues serving the seven houses. Alas, alas, I have lost contact with two of those colleagues already. They are both able bodied. The exposition. Yet in these dark times, even that may not prove sufficient. The man safe on the road. If you want me to find them, I'll need to know where they went. Investigate the Republic. The other Did you have a good trip aside from train delays? That doesn't exactly narrow it down. I suppose I'll start in Dalamel and work my way east. Thank you, my lord. I shall pray for your success and safety. So what I was asking was if there's way more to this than I thought, because I thought I was much closer to the end. If I take a food break and come back and try to finish, would people be interested? And I know I'd be overlapping Steven as well, which I don't like to do, but I kind of want to take advantage of having this day just for gaming. Good. I'm glad. But I also kind of want to make progress with... Uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, one well, thing is I may order food and when it gets here, I don't want to just leave the stream up and not be here, especially with something on console, because it's harder to... It's not going to be easy finding one man in an entire republic. Um... Um, if I was on PC, I'd leave it up with a break, but I'm not. And my capture card is set up for the switch. Not, not this. Good day, my lord. <gasps> she has a platinum sword. Here you are. No. Thank you for your custom. Yeah, there's also just the usual... If I reduce... If I close the stream, it's that... Internal, no one's gonna come back. If I end the stream and take a break. Which I know is not ideal. Oh, Ambrosia. Okay. 
So you can start by giving us all the coppers in your purse. I already told you, I have nothing. <laughs> then maybe we'll take that pretty outfit and the steel you're wearing. Uh, uh, please! These men are trying to rob me! I'll deal with this. Thank you. You that one's master, then. <laughs> if you'd kindly pay the coin he owes us, we can pretend you didn't draw to all the public and soldiers. Or you can go to your boss, and I won't report you to your captain. Oh, you're more than welcome to. He hasn't had any visitors since we slit his throat. Oh, shit. Don't mind me. I'm just charging up Mega Flare. Oh shit, I get a third one? Slain. changed in the Republican army since they lost their block. You've seen this kind of thing before then? Many times. I was sent here to observe the situation. You're one of Rutherford's men. You sent me to look for you. Well, then you have my thanks. I fancy I could defend myself. Ow. Perhaps too, but a whole regiment. But I arrived in Dunhamill several days ago, but when I called upon the captain of the local garrison to make inquiries, his men confiscated my effects and locked me in a cell. The captain is no more. And his men make the rules now. Fortunately, I was able to bribe my way free. Only to be stopped again by those soldiers who so kindly dispatched. The fist of central command. Surely they wouldn't allow such foolishness amongst their ranks. I would imagine they are unaware. I think what I'm gonna do is... ...and has fallen back to the capital and... I think what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna take a break now because it's been four hours and I just hit a wall. I'm gonna order food and then come back a little later. I'll find a caravan heading north. Yeah, I'm still gonna order a McDonald's because that'll be fast. Hopefully. It will actually arrive. Uh, that way we can go raid Kelly. I'll start at Northreach and see if I can pick up his trail. My first photo mode. I've also got to check because I have two FedExes coming. And I don't know if they're coming today, tomorrow, or Friday. Yeah, but I need a break. I realize it's four, a little over four hours. And uh, I've hit a wall. Right? The Opera Geek Valestia Raid. 
But thanks for hanging out. I'll be back after I take a food break. Um, probably within an hour, hour and a half at the most. And, uh, we'll try to get back to Final Fantasy and finish. I may stop fucking around with side quests. And, uh, just get on with the main quest. Thank you. Let's go raid Kelly, see what she's up to, and, uh, I will catch you all in a bit.